Be careful what you ask for. You just might get it. See, it always hurt when you got to spank somebody that you love. Now I'm going to put an address on it. Since you want me to be talking about you, now I'm going to talk to you. First off, you didn't call me on the phone. You didn't have to call me on the phone. You called Jerry on the phone. You knew when you called Jerry on the phone, the next phone call was going to come to me. But scratch that. Until you get your chain back that you got yapped for, you don't talk to me like that. You think because I love your father and your father love me that I won't spank you? Well, right now, I'm about to spank you with the truth and it's going to hurt. You ain't got no business in these streets. You make your 1455 look bad. First of all, you running around with the same cats that shot at you, that popped at you and popped your right hand man, my nephew. You running with the same niggas that popped you. Looking like a bird. Running with the same cats that popped you. But scratch that. Because I had to come outside. Playing the peacemaker. Because you wasn't built for the war. Remember that? When I had to stand outside with me and Big Jerry. And play the peacemaker. Because your man got popped while you ran. You didn't go run and get the hammer. You ran so fast, your feet was kicking yourself in the ass. You went upstairs and you did nothing. Like a scared little girl. The only time that you turn up is when you turned up on Malloy, the future, his sister. Beat her so bad, you left her in the, damn near in the coma, knocked out, unconscious. You whooped that girl. Left unconscious, cold. Silent. You showed and proved your manhood. Stomped her out. But you couldn't handle a shh. I won't mention his name. You let that man put hands on you? Until you get your chain back? You, you, you can't talk tough. You made 1455 look bad. 1455 is a legendary building and you made the building look bad. You making the building look bad. You making 1455. 1455 ain't got nothing but thoroughbreds coming out of it. And you, my son, you are a disgrace. You need to go to church. Skrilla life? You living up in a $200 apartment and you screaming Skrilla life? Really? You ain't get your little girl out of the hood. You stuck. Looking like a sucker. Broke. Stomped out. Got your ass whooped because you pillow talking. You got your ass whooped because you pillow talking. You disloyal. You. The same niggas that popped you let you get down with you. Let you get down with them. Let you eat. You hanging out with the same niggas that popped your right hand man. Ooh, you look so sweet. But anyway, so you standing out there on a block, hanging out with these cats, and you disloyal. You. Definition of why a dude should not never pillow talk. You sitting up there running your mouth to a broad. She told on you. This law you. Texting like a little hoe. When you should have been talking to your hoe, you talking to another hoe. You got whooped out by the hood. You got robbed. They took your money. They took your chain. And he up. Yap that fool. You want big money? Kidnap that fool. Got your head bouncing off the pavement. And you talking to me? You think you going to talk to me like that? Because of your father? You got me all messed up. Nigga ain't never robbed me in Bronx River. As a matter of fact, I'm still that nigga that put Bronx River on a curfew. First nigga that did that when the real dudes was outside. You got me all the way messed up. And I'll be in Bronx River. And you know what you're going to do? you playing with the wrong one. The wrong one. you playing with the wrong one. Go back down that hill and get your chain. Go back down the hill and get your chain back, nigga. Go get your chain back. Go get your chain back. Don't you got a baby to feed? You can't protect yourself. How you going to protect your daughter? And she is beautiful. God bless her. How you going to protect her? You can't. You looking soft right now. 
It's a damn shame when you go upstairs to your wife. She looking at you sideways because you will beat a bitch in a minute. But you will not beat a nigga. You ain't never been known to win a fight in your life. You ain't never called nobody. You called your daddy when Buster beat that ass. Remember that? Shout out to Bust. Remember when Buster beat your ass? He whooped that. Tr he whooped your ass the same way you beat that good Malloy sister. The same way you beat Malloy sister is the same way Buster beat your ass. And who did you call Big Tim to come outside to fight Bus in the store for you? Daddy had to come outside to beat Bus up. Shout out to Bus. Daddy had to come outside to fight for you. Nigga, you a grown ass man. My father was never around for me to call for beef. That's why I had to come outside and squash your beef. Remember when I was sitting up there with you know who? And little Jerry, and we sitting up there in, 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 in the restaurant squashing the beef that you started? Because that's my little nigga. Them two little niggas that whipped you out? Those my little niggas. The one that popped at you, that hit my neck, those my little niggas. You put me in the crossfire. Oh, that's right. You didn't call me. You just knew that if my nephews got involved, they daddy would get involved. When they daddy got involved, you know the wolf was going to come out. Nah, nigga. Nobody don't want to go to jail over you. You ain't willing to fight and die for yourself. You right you ain't called me on the phone. You called my brother. Stop fronting. You looking kind of sweet right now. Ain't nobody in the hood respect you. As a matter of fact, they waiting for you to hustle your money up again so they could take it again. Hustle up, Skrilla. Save your pennies. Your rent is only $200, so your little bit of weed money going to look right. Hustle, stack that paper up. They're going to come get you again and again and again because you easy food. Nigga, your lunch money. You lunch money. Now I put an address on it. Now you look corny. Now you look corny. Little Timmy, you ain't nothing but, <laughs> you ain't nothing like your uncles. You ain't nothing like your father. You ain't nothing like none of the greats that came out of 1455. Nigga, you're soft. Softer than baby ass. You soft. You making yourself look bad. The only thing you've ever beat in your life was a female. Now I'm talking to you. And I put an address on it. And I advise you, don't play with me. Because if you push my button, boy, I love your father to death. I love your grandmother even more. Don't play with me. Do not play with me. Little nigga. As a matter of fact, I ain't going to even go there. You asked for it. So I gave it to you. You ain't called me. The reason why you still alive after Lil Jerry got popped. You know, remember when Lil Jerry got popped? He got shot over your beef. Remember that? You couldn't handle it. So the big brothers and the uncles had to come out. And you know, when, the, when, when, when you see, here's how it worked, right? I had to learn from an OG. When a young G's is out there, oh, I can't call you a young G. When a young, when a young boy with the boy mentality that want to be tough, when he run in the hood, and he get caught up in some fire, and then the old G's got to come out, you can't fight they battle, because you'll go to jail. Every time you fight they battle, it'll be a new battle. So we had to come outside and sit down and squash your beef, because you got family beefing with family. Shout out to my little nigga Twin. That's my little nigga. Shout out to my little nigga Dawn. That's my little nigga. Shout out to my little nigga Ty. Ty, that's my little nigga. You got family beefing with family. You a lame. Fucking with the real men, fighting with the real men, ain't you. Keep beating the bitches up. Remember? That's what you do best. Shots fired. Now that's a spanking that I just gave to your ass. Don't make me go no further. I love your grandmother. I love your father. You's a sucker, nigga. You the definition of what a nigga would never want to be with his daughter. You cannot protect nobody. You can't even keep your chain off your neck. Ain't a nigga alive or take mine.